Hey everyone, so recently I had two games where I was playing killer and they started off pretty badly. But during the game the survivors made a few mistakes that made the game actually turn around in my favor. And I was playing on two maps that were not really favorable for a killer, they were pretty big or pretty uh, like had loads of safe pallets and so on. In the first game I was playing Legion and in the second game I was playing a Trickster, which are both killers not considered too strong. Um, and I wanted to share these two games with you guys, just to showcase how quickly actually a DVD game can turn around and I thought it's a... I thought that these games were pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoy and from time to time I'll be uh, pausing the videos and commenting on the gameplay as well. Disturb board. Hmm. I would say this is decent. Although it is a big map. Let's see if I can chain hits here. I doubt it. It's split up in a clever way. No one around here. Okay. Hey, Nia. Um. We're gonna wait till she'll drop that pallet and then. Yeah. There we go. Everyone over there is uh, not good news. Oh, fuck, I'm getting stuck. So, usually when you play Legion, grouped up survivors are a great thing because you can easily chain hits in your frenzy. But these survivors played this in a very, very good way. They started running as soon as I hit the Nia. They started running in different directions, so I can't chain hits as easily. And one tiny little mistake from my side made me actually not get the second chain hit on the next survivor. Okay, body's decent, let's leave her. She's not gonna be easily mind gameable, so I wanna go for frenzy hits right here. I hear Nia. Why am I in the hitbox game? This was a bad play by me. I shouldn't have gotten stunned here. I miscalculated the distance. Please give me the chain hits. Come on, don't just run to a corner of the map. Again, survivors playing really smart, splitting up so I can't chain hit. Hmm, unfortunate. I don't think we're all gonna have a chance against these guys. Let's kick the spoon. And I'm guessing two gens are about to pop as well. Yeah. Hey, Claudie. Now here one could argue that I should have tried respecting the pallet to get the hit without getting the stun, but let's be honest, most of the time it's a 50-50. Uh, I need to protect the kind of a 3 gen I guess, that's the only way I could chain hits. Okay that's a sprint burst girl, let's use frenzy to catch up. Please don't run to the corner of a map. Thank you very much. Now this is actually the first time I get to chain a hit during Frenzy in this game. And we already have one gen completed. And probably two gens with some progress. And the Nia did a very smart thing. She started running in the completely opposite direction of Ada. And that's actually going to be the reason why I won't get the uh, third Frenzy hit. Okay, we need to get her down now, I guess. She makes that, for sure. Gonna go upstairs, alright. Okay. Yeah, that's a dead art. Should've expected that. He's still OP. Oh, this chase is gonna be longer than it should have been. Oh. Let's use Frenzy to catch up. Ah! 
I'm lucky. Yeah. Okay. You have a dead art as well, don't you? Yeah, there we go. Everyone has it. Learn from your mistakes. This is a different type of survivors we have. Do we have basement here? Yeah. I think maybe we can play around that. And force them to heal. They won't waste a lot of time since they have a boon. Now finally, after two gens already completed and one about to pop, I have something to work with. I have a basement hook and two survivors injured, but they have a boon. Yeah, I guess my only place to camp the basement, there's no other way I win this. I need to kill off that Claudi. Oh my god, oh my god, you messed up so big. I'm so glad about that. Now that grab right there was one mistake Ada did that started turning the game around in my favor. So I had still one hook in basement and two people just running out of basement injured. Let's force them to heal, I guess. And come for the unhook. Oh, you messed up again. I'm glad about that. Now Claudette right here made one mistake that's gonna cost her a second hook. She didn't run far away enough to get healed up. She just stayed around the hook next to the killer trying to mend and heal up. Hey. Okay, secure the second stage on her. Nice. Now she's dead on her. Go for Frenzy here. Hopefully now we can get some chain heads. this look at this how perfectly these guys are playing she is dead on hook though uh. yeah, you're gonna drop every pallet aren't you why wouldn't you you're dead on hook and you're going to shack now as well So because basement is so hard to unhook against, I was able to secure the second stage on Ada, and now she's dead on hook at two gens, which is great for me. So technically, one mistake made her lose the game. Is that they grouped up there? Yes, they did. Please, Claudie, don't run to the fucking corner of the map. Thank you very much.
there we go. Now here I was lucky to down claw that so easily. And because she did a mistake beforehand, now she's dead on hook as well. And with only two survivors left, the last gen is going to be hard to complete. I'm really surprised how I managed to get a comeback. I guess the uh, basement hook was was the one thing saving me, I'll be honest. And that the uh, Ada fucked up with the grab. There's no other way I would have won this. I don't even, like, maybe know it and No Way Out could have done a thing, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. That might have been div diversion. Okay, let's keep that in mind. No one started that. Let's hurry there. If they're both on it, it might get completed. I heard footsteps. I'm chasing someone. Who am I chasing? Okay, there's Rebecca. I don't catch up to her. Did they touch this? No. Okay. That's soothing to know. Okay. Nia's over there. Um... Where did she go? Right there, alright. We make this. She shouldn't have dropped a pallet. I'm guessing she wanted to get me out of frenzy, but... Not, not always that easy. She ran the long way around. Wow, alright. I think he, she either messed up or expected me to... Or expected me to go for the... For the uh, double back. I don't know. Oh, very nice. Okay, you're gonna W key. Will I play survival later? Maybe. I'm not sure. But I drop it now, I think. No. Okay. I think I catch up now with Bloodlust. I should have... Oh, close, close. Hi. With only two people left, these guys still managed to finish the last gen. And this girl ran me for quite a while, so you can see what kind of survivors I was actually going against. And she can't heal. We are faster, but we're not too fast because we didn't get too many chain hits. Three stacks of No Way Out. That's lovely to know. We can basically just camp the shit out of this person. Nia can't heal. And as soon as she tries to open the exit gates, we see that one... We see that one over there. We also know that the uh, hatch is going to spawn around Shaq. I don't think there's anything we should do, but just camp the shit out of this person. I'm sorry, Rebecca, but this is the best option I have. Yeah, there we go. And the hatch is going to spawn right around here, I guess. Yeah. And that Nia is going to try to open the door and we have no way out. Yeah, sorry about that girl. Slade, yeah. I'm really surprised how I managed to get a comeback in this game. They, uh, I was expecting this to be a four-man escape in the beginning. They did a couple of mistakes, which uh, basically cost them the whole game. Otherwise, they really played well. They split up. They know how. They knew how to uh, prevent chain hits and stuff. They were good survivors. But even good survivors make mistakes, right? So, just as I said, even good survivors can make mistakes, and as a killer. You can use those mistakes to turn the game in your favor. And now, let's see the second game.
Don't worry, you witnessed some uh, weirder things over here. Okay, I'm glad to hear you don't find me weird. Did we actually get the worst fucking map for a trickster? We did. Ah, oh, lovely. This game is gonna be fun, I guess. Alright. No one to be seen with darkness revealed, so maybe let's check around gens where there's no lockers around. Like this one. Yeah, there we go. Please don't run me on that pallet. That's like the worst thing you can do. Yeah, okay. Oh, Thank you for nice. insta-dropping it, I guess. Let's gladly get rid of that. Um, where did you go off? Oh, there. Yeah, born vision, I guess. <laughs> I don't get hits through these, right? You have another one. Oh, how lovely. Okay, I'll take that. I just gotta go for the M1 here. I'm not gonna catch up. You have another one? Oh my god, how disgusting is this map? Like, look at these pallets, what the hell? As you can already obviously notice, I'm getting a bit frustrated because there were like three pallets that were extremely safe to run a trickster on, two gents completed, third luckily got deadlocked, and yeah, uh, the start of the game was really not going well for me. GG easy to them, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, finally a down. You never won once against Trickster. Oh, honestly, in this map, you wouldn't have a you wouldn't have a hard job, uh, hard time. This map is disgusting for a Trickster. Like, look at those pallets. They can run me on there for ages, and they have like three of them. And Feng was able to find all of them for some reason. I guess Windows. Nice. Hey, hey. Oh, he thinks uh, the pallet's still up, I guess. Oh, he wants me to M1. Alright, we can do that, buddy. Okay, someone went back for that gen. So glad I missed that. I didn't miss that. All right. So at the time I got my second down in this game, we are already at one gen. And I don't think a trickster could have done this a lot better. I wouldn't say I played it perfectly, but I did my best job. And the survivors finished off four gens, even with deadlock. So but uh, I don't want to really chase a shack, and that gen over there is probably about to get popped as well. <laughs> oh, actually it has no progress, alright. go. That was a fairly easy down compared to the other ones. 
Adam here did one mistake. He ran out into the open against the trickster, which basically gave me quite an easy down. If you watched carefully, there was a pallet on his left side he could have ran to, which he didn't, and there he could have ran me for a long time. And I got an easy down on him, I got a third stack of no way out, which later on in the game will be a very valuable time, you'll see. <laughs> Yeah, you just kept running. Smart. <laughs> so here I switched on to Ace, hoping to scare him off the gen and force him to heal to stall some time. And I also had to reload my blades in the shack. But if you keep an eye on Ace during the next few minutes, you'll notice that Ace won't get healed uh, normally. There's a basement here, maybe I can... Oh, I can't make a play because the basement's not here. So unfortunate. Okay, uh, I think I have to play around main event here. Oh, they're not gonna even give me that. If you watched carefully enough, you would have seen that we had two adrenalines, one on Kate and one on Ace. Okay, Kate is dead. Maybe we can get a 2k out of this. No need to respect uh, DS or off the record because it's endgame. Notice now that the no way out timer is going, giving us enough time to reload Find a survivor and down them. Did you see the map? Did you see the pallets I got? Like, even though I still got fairly decent downs. Hey, oh, I should have went for the knives here. That was a bad play. Stay away from those gates, Fang. There are two mistakes survivors did here. First one is trying to body block Strixter's nav, which is very hard if not done properly. And I got to down Adam anyway, and I got the injury on Ace, and the Fang was trying to open the gate right into my face. So they all grouped up in one place, making me able to apply pressure on all of them at one time. Um, if she doesn't have unbreakable, this could be a turnaround. I hope now to find the ace somewhere, maybe. Oh, ace is healed. That is unfortunate. Hey, okay, let's bring you into basement. That's the only play I have, I think. But I don't think I make it to basement, do I? Please, Adam, stop spinning me. I shouldn't have missed so many knives here, but if you play Trickster, you know how survivors can easily mess with your POV. Thing actually had unbreakable. <laughs> That's great. You don't have unbreakable anymore. 
Um. So the second mistake done by Adam here was dropping the pallet out of panic, trapping his teammate on the other side, making it possible for me to get an easy down. And from then on, catching Adam was not a hard job as well. The sandbag, yeah, that sandbag was actually game changing. Yeah, he can't 4%, that's great. I think Feng is the only one who can 4%. In the end, I got them all. Yeah, that's, uh, this was really a nice comeback, I was not expecting this. To be honest, actually the same like the with the Legion last game. So in both of these games, I faced survivors that were fairly decent, that were able to run me for quite a while, and in both of these games, survivors made mistakes that were really, really game-changing, and I tried my best to use those mistakes, punish them for it, and yeah, this basically uh, turned the game around in my favor. I just wanted to uh, showcase with these two games that you should never give up when you play killer because the game, as you can see, can turn around every moment. Always do your best, always keep trying, and always have fun while doing so. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.